It's two o'clock in the morning, so I'm playing it again. This is the Enrichment Center, a game based off of Portal. I'll just go ahead and let the introduction play here. I don't know if you can read this. When was the last time you left the building? Has anybody left the building lately? I don't think going home is part of our job description anymore. In this game, this happens before um, Gladys takes over Aperture Science. And so you're an employee of Aperture Science, uh, pre-Portal Gun. And your job is to escape. It's actually, the gameplay itself, uh, pretty stupid. You'd think from the screenshot it'd be really nice. It's basically a point-and-click game. Um, there are puzzles in it, but they're really easy uh, and blatantly yeah, obvious. I need to get out. This is basically just showing you the goal of the game is to find key cards and get through the locked door. This door is locked. This door is not. Let me turn the volume up in case you can't hear. Gladys, they take the uh, voice from the for you. There's a time limit. Grab the key card, go through the door. Let's go from here. Oh, key card. Another key card. Let's go through this door. Now here's the first actual puzzle. 23 is number one. You can just head through all these doors and it sends you right back here. But if you follow the... Yeah, shut up, Gladys. I'm talking. Uh, if you just head through these doors at random, uh, you see that the security system. As much as I'd love to, I can't get the neurotoxin into your head any faster. Thank you. So you have to follow what it tells you. Twenty-three is number one. Two, three, one, and this unlocks. Neurotoxin. So now the next clue is three, one, two. So you go three, one, two. <laughs> I don't want to talk over her, but you know what? I'm gonna, because there's just, it's, I'm gonna be quiet the whole video. Alright, so here we got door on the left, door in the middle, door on the right. So bonk, bonk, bonk. There's the next door. It's pretty obvious you've got this little crack here. You can get uh, the crowbar. And if you want to see a death scene, head through this uh, window. Exit just takes you back to the last screen. So if you head to this window, this is what death looks like. Uh, a crash. Yeah. Uh, this window, not that one. This window, the second and the fourth window, they both kill you. This window takes you here, and then this window takes you to a locked door that you can't get through. So you just back up, and then you die. Crunch. But then that takes you back to here. So we get through this door, not that door. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. This door. This door. Grab the key card, go back. Here. And here's another uh, really obvious. Shut up, Gladys. I mean, if you haven't figured out the answer to this riddle yet, it's left, right. You come here, you need a key card. I took the wrong door. There are points here where you can't. Uh, Okay, enough. Oh, here's the cake no is a lie. Right, right. Well, the next time she shuts up. Thank you. She's triggered, I guess, based on when you go through certain doors. So when I, you know, know the answer to the puzzle and I just click through it real fast, she talks a lot. Uh, you see our time is getting low. Uh... A lot of times they don't give you a clue on which way you need to go, so you just kind of have to find your way around. There's the key. That, oh, this is the one that kills me. 
Yes, I have actually made it through this game before. Okay. Go down here. Go down here. Go through here. Go through there. Go through there. Go through, there. Go through, there. Go through there. Dang it. Go down here. Go through there. Go through there. Go through there. There's the emergency exit. Normally this door won't open, but because we grabbed that black key, we can get out. So it's a combination. This game is really pretty looking because they steal the uh, screen straight from the Portal game. Here's the credits that are going to go by right now. Uh, but the puzzles are either blindingly obvious or complete random clicking. And uh, that's not as fun for me. I want to be challenged and I don't want it to be just complete random. Here I die. You are going to be missed. Retry, then you can go back to the beginning of the game and play again. So there's a short little video of a nice looking but crappily designed game. The Enrichment Center, brought to you by Newgrounds.com. Have a good night. Okay, we have an addenda real quick. Um, while I was doing the audio editing, uh, increasing the volume level on the video, uh, the video is actually much bigger when I'm uh, editing it than when I'm actually playing the game. Uh, this is a smaller window when I play the what Flash game. Doing? And it. so I noticed Bye. something Bye. on the floor <laughs> in one of the rooms that I never noticed before. So we're going to hurry up and get to that room real quick. And uh, two, three, one, click. Three, one, two, click. Left, middle, right, click. In here. I grabbed the crowbar earlier and then headed back out. But, and this is the thing I didn't notice, there's a key right here. and It's nice enough to give you a little tinkle uh, when, you, when you scroll over it. So we grab that key. Head through this window, head through this window, head through this window, and this is that door that I said was locked earlier and I couldn't get through it. At least I should have said that in the last video. I've been here before. I never could find the way through it. Gladys, shut up. I'm winning the game. The great thing about the different ending, this is the real ending. It looks exactly like the other ending. The only difference is that you don't get neurotoxin to death at the end. And maybe like that little alive bit there and the fact that they play Still Alive as the ending music. You can get Still Alive as a song on Rock Band 2, as well as Stephen Colbert's Charlene. But this is the end, and you can go to the different websites. Completely different ending than the last time at this very last screen by which I made. I think it's easy. Uh, it's better when you get killed by the neurotoxins compared to this. Who doesn't love this song? Alright, that's it. I'm going to quickly append this to the end of the other video and then make it all into one big video.